Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about my favorite reads of 2017. Like I've said in my previous videos, 2017 was not my best reading year. I have read, including my rereads, about 29 books or like I'm currently reading my 29th book if I'm correct, but a lot of the books that I have read were still for high school, so that were Dutch books or French books, which I don't enjoy, I would never pick up myself, and just a lot of the books that I read this year weren't that great to be honest. So I have five books to talk to you guys about and they are in the order of like least favorite of the favorites until the most favorite of the favorites if you know what I mean. So let's start with my least favorite of the favorites and that is Lumber James by Stevenson, Ellis, Waters, and Allen. Those are all their last names. Volume number one, Beware the Kitten Holy. And this was my first um, graphic novel that I read the only thing why I am not putting this on like my favorite favorite is because it's so short and graphic novels are so expensive but I absolutely just love the artwork in here. It is so, I don't know, it's so cute and the story itself was also a lot of fun. It's about this group of girls who are on this camp and it's very adventurous and that's all you need to know. So I'd say pick it up if you're interested because I don't think you will be disappointed. It's just so cute. My number four is another graphic novel. I have sort of discovered graphic novels this year. This, I've like only read three of them, but still I started reading graphic novels and my number four favorite book of the year is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Nimona by Noelle Stevenson and she is also one of the drawers, authors, of Lumberjanes and this story was I think even more fun than Lumberjanes just because it is like a complete story. It is about 300 pages long. Um, I again just think the art style is very very pretty and the story again was adventurous. It's about um, you follow this villain and he has a little help with him. That's this girl right here. She's actually more villainous than the villain itself which is awesome. Pick it up. It is so much fun and I feel like if you want to get into graphic novels definitely pick this one up because it's a complete story. You can read it for a couple of hours and it's just a lot of fun. Then on number three I have my reread but I'm counting this as like my favorite book even though it's a reread because I read it in a completely different format, a completely different language, and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the illustrated edition by J.K. Rowling and Jim Kay. Mm, this just made my Harry Potter heart so happy. The illustrations in the book are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot express how beautiful they are and it enriched the story even more and it made my enjoyment so much better than reading the first book in Dutch, in like just regular plain old format. I just cannot wait to reread The Chamber of Secrets and The Prisoner of Azkaban in this edition too because I know that I will absolutely love it. So that is why I am counting this reread because I read it in Dutch initially and I read it in just a normal standard format and that is, this is just like completely different and the experience was different as well. So yeah, by the way, I didn't give all of my favorite books a 5 out of 5 stars. To be honest, I only did with one, so that shows how bad my reading year actually was. I gave Lumberjanes, I think, a 4 out of 5 stars, Nimona a 4.25 out of 5. Well, this one I gave a 5 out of 5, so if you count that, I gave two books a 5 out of 5 rating. And then my number two is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This is the first book in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, and I really want to continue on with this in 2017. I have, uh, in 2018, I need to step up my game. This is one of my reading goals and if you want to see more of my reading goals I will leave a link somewhere here on the screen so you can watch my 2018 reading goals video but I oh my god enjoy this book a lot. I gave this one a 4.25 out of 5 stars or a four and a half out of 5 stars. This story is about a world where you have parallel Londons, you have red London where magic is very like celebrated and it's seen as a good thing. Then you have grey London which is our world back in I think around the 1900s and then you also have white London where magic is seen as a dangerous thing. It's not that great and then you also have black London and this world is just fallen apart and you follow this guy called Kel and he can travel between these parallel Londons and there's only I believe one other person who can do that as well and he um, secretly takes all of these artifacts from different Londons which is illegal and then one day that backlash is on him and ooh, 
I loved it so much. You also made a really awesome badass character called Lila Bard and I cannot wait to continue with this series and this was one of my favorite reads of 2017. You guys, I am here to interfere between my number two and my number one read and I'm doing this vlog style because I just finished recording the video but I forgot a really, really important book. I don't know if this book is my number two or my number one pick because I just I just cannot choose between the two, but it is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Oh my god, I finished this I think three days ago and I did have a little dip, like a little down point because I had finals for my university and it was just so busy so I haven't read this. Like I put it down for I think like one or two weeks, but Oh, I love this book so much. It is about this futuristic world in 2045 where we are all uh, living kind of in the Oasis, which is a virtual reality video game type of world. You can go to school there, you can go to all different planets and do like basically anything. Um, and one of the two creators passes away and he doesn't really have any family to pass on his wealth to. So he puts an Easter egg in the game and when someone is going to find the Easter egg, he's going to um, get all of the money and all of the wealth from the creator and oh my god I love this book so much there are so many 80s references in it and even though I'm not like I love 80s culture but I don't know that much about it I also loved learning a lot about the 80s uh, I'm lately I've just been obsessed with 80s music so this is uh, I don't know it's about video games it's about virtual reality there's a lot of action in here and I love the writing style I Oh, this was such a good book and definitely made my reading year 2008, 2017 a little bit better. Why didn't I pick this book up earlier? Like I've had this for two years on my shelves, but it was so good. Um, so right now I'm going to stop talking about this one. You just need to pick it up, especially because the movie is coming out in March. Just pick it up, please. It's so good. And right now let's go on to my number one. I, I don't know. I can't pick. If I had to choose right now, I'd say that this is my number one read. But my number one read is just like so iconic. I don't know I, what to do, but I love this so much. Highly recommend this. And then last, but definitely not least, because this is my most favorite red read read of the year. And it's right there, but it's really hard to take out of the box set. And that is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I do think it is, I think, a really a popular opinion that the Deathly Hallows is my least favorite book of the entire series because you have to read about like half, maybe even more of the book before the action really starts happening. Um, the other half of the book, they're just traveling between the woods, Ron, Hermione, and Harry, and just trying to stay safe, which I understand they need to do that, but it was just really kind of boring sometimes. Like I still enjoyed myself reading it, don't get me wrong, but compared to the other books, I felt bored sometimes a little bit i was waiting for the big things to happen but when it did happen i loved it so much i did also think that the ending could be a little less like abrupt but this was one of the f two reads that i gave a five out five out of five stars um it's just such a shame i hope that 2018 will be much more of a better reading year for me so let's pray for that if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos you guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages of course i have goodreads instagram snapchat plus an email address so links to all of my social media pages will be in the description bar down below as well again thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in 2018. Bye!